Today, I'm sharing a glimpse into my life as a world traveler, how I work, play, and stay fit while I'm on the road. Hi friends, it's Anita Wingley here. Today we're gonna to explore a really cute neighborhood in Birmingham called Mosley. I'm gonna find a coffee shop and we'll set up shop for a little bit and get some work done. The thing I love about solo travel is that it gives me a chance to slow down and stop to capture these beautiful moments and sights whenever I see them and not have to worry about what anyone else thinks. Especially as an online creator, once I find a detail, I love to get multiple angles of it and get the perfect video or live stream or picture. So this place here is a really cute little bakery, even with seating outside, but I wanna keep looking and see if we can find another place. I think the key to a happy life, whether you're traveling or not, is ultimately to know how to stop and take in life with a sense of awe and wonder. Just because you come into a fence or a roadblock doesn't mean that the journey's over or you did something wrong. It just means that you're going to find another way around and perhaps get to a different destination. Plus, you might even discover a used bookstore, which I can never resist, to enjoy along the route. I've also learned to hone my intuition so that when I've found the right place, I know it. So I found a place, finally found a place that I liked and I got my chai latte, got my laptop set up and I'm gonna be settling in for a couple of hours creating some epic content for you guys and if you've ever wondered how I get work done as I'm traveling the world, finding coffee shops wherever I am is one of my favorite things to do. So I stayed at this coffee shop for a couple of hours until I got as much as I could get done and then I'm headed back to my friend's place. Today was a really good day of exploring the city, getting some awesome videos for you guys, plus getting some of my online stuff done. I usually take public transportation when I'm in a city, but today I took an Uber because it was raining too much. I'm here outside of Yoga Sweat, which is an awesome yoga studio here in Birmingham, UK. Finding a local studio is one of my favorite ways to stay inspired and motivated and learn from awesome teachers even while I'm traveling. A lot of yoga studios will have a trial offer like this. You can do 20 days for 20 pounds and it's a great way to get to try new classes on a budget. Yoga is one of my favorite ways to get my body moving, especially when you've been sitting a lot. To me, it just feels really good to stretch everything out. And whenever I do have a local studio, I make every effort I can to try every single one of their teachers and find my favorite classes and then I go again and again. I'll also make an effort to go to classes earlier or stay a little bit later after so that I can use the studio space to work on arm balances and inversions, going upside down, things that I don't necessarily get to work on unless I've got the space to. It's also amazing to have a travel yoga mat like this one I've got here that's super thin and can go with me anywhere. Now I'm feeling all fresh after my Sunday morning yoga class and it's even sunnier than when I began. So the great thing about purposely going out to find a local studio to practice with is that it also gets me out into the city and exploring. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into my life traveling the world. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a comment below and subscribe for more.